Hey all, and welcome to the Whiteboard Doctor and all you Whiteboard Doctors out there. Uh, welcome back to the channel for those who have subscribed or been to our channel before. Um, welcome for the first time. For those who are new, please subscribe, check out any other videos, um, and join our community of learners. Uh, today we're going to do an episode of 5 Minute EKG. This is a, a brief video on a various EKG finding that we look at an actual EKG from the clinical arena. I think learning is oftentimes a little better when you look at actual EKGs rather than just computer generated EKGs. And for this episode, we're going to be looking at, if you haven't already noticed, S, oops, ST elevation in AVR with diffuse ST depressions. Now everyone's eyes are darting to the different leads, and you may have noticed some of these findings. So although there are conflicting opinions on this term, uh, people refer to this as a STEMI, right? So ST elevation myocardial infarction equivalent, because um, it doesn't quite meet STEMI criteria, um, given that you don't have two contiguous leads with F ST elevation, um, but it does have the ST elevation in AVR with diffuse ST depressions. So let's look at this now. Switch my mouse over. So right, first we have AVR. And this STEMI equivalent has ST elevation in AVR and SB greater than one millimeter. So here if we look, right, so here's our QRS, QRS, and then here is our uh, ST, oh, let me turn my volume off, um, and you have this ST elevation here, right? Ooh, it's not wanting to register. All right, let me just delete that quick because it's probably more confusing than it is helpful. All right, so you have this ST elevation here in AVR, and you can see that in all the leads, right? So we're looking right here, at ST elevation. This is also AVR right before V1, and again, ST elevation, which is this area right here. Um, so you have greater than one millimeter of ST elevation in AVR, and then if you look diffusely throughout other leads, right? So here we have our precordial leads, um, which is going to be V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, and you get these ST depressions now, right? So ST depressions there, there. This is a really blatant one, right? So ST depression, which we're specifically looking at that segment right there, right? Because here's going to be your T, T, S, and you get this ST depression. And you can see this throughout, right? ST depression here, ST depression here. Then you can even go over to your um, limb leads, and you can, again, see ST depressions there, right? We're looking at the segment right there, right there, all that um, ST depression. So in this EKG, uh, you have someone with ST elevations in AVR and diffuse ST depressions throughout. So what does that mean? Um, that means you should immediately be concerned for, um, although this isn't an ST elevated myocardial infarction, but you should be concerned for significant endocardial ischemia. So this typically, and let's switch, we'll go to maroon, is a is a left main arterial disease or proximal left anterior descending artery disease or diffuse subendocardial ischemia from global injury. Nonetheless, though, if it is proximal LAD or left main, these need to go to the cath lab immediately, right? These are deadly, deadly, deadly lesions. In fact, if it was complete left main, this patient would be dead before they had even arrived, but they're still alive, so it's probably not complete left main. Um, but you usually have multivessel disease, left main disease, or prox LAD, LAD disease. Um, all that needs to go to the cath lab emergently, which is why they call this a STEMI equivalent, uh, because these patients need to be emergently cath. Now, there are a couple of different scenarios where you can see this as well. Um, sometimes severe hypokalemia, sodium channel blockade, and some of those can have a similar pattern, um, but uh, it should be a rule out emergent cath lab activation um, in kind of concordance with your cardiology specialist rather than uh, let's sit on it and see what the patient does. Um, so anytime you see ST elevation in AVR with diffuse ST depressions, this is a immediately call your cardiology specialist for cath lab activation um, until proven otherwise. 
All right. Well, thanks for viewing. That was one that probably actually was within five minutes, which is uh, new for us here. Leave any comments, questions, concerns, subscribe, take a look at other videos. Let us know what you think. Appreciate you watching and everybody have a great day.